now with Victoria from Pet Expo along with Zeus. Hello, Zeus. How are you today? Oh, I mean, yeah, I know. Well, uh, so Victoria, you brought some, um, you brought some, you know, uh, dog toys for us. And, you know, I have a dog. And one of the things that um, I find so interesting is figuring out what types of toys he likes to play with and doesn't like to play with. So right. how do you figure that out? Well, as a puppy, it's actually recommended to get a variety of textures. So like Zeus here, he's only 10, 11 months old. Um, and when you're in that younger stage, you want a variety of textures to figure out what preference of play they prefer. Mm -hmm. um, but then also uh, the different textures is also really great for teething puppies too. Mm. So. Yeah, texture makes a big difference. What about a dog who may be two years or older, someone that you may have adopted from a shelter or just picked up who may be a little bit older? How can you gauge that personality if they have grown out of that puppy stage? I mean, I would still get them a variety of toys. Um, sometimes once they've gone through that tearing apart everything stage, you. A lot of the older dogs, I know like my older lab prefers something like that comfort toy mm -hmm. where something he, softer, right? Something okay. soft where he can still squeak um, and maybe even cuddle with a little bit. But those we also don't recommend to leave out and about with dogs that might tear things apart. You know, mm -hmm. you don't want mm -hmm. them to eat the stuffing on the inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for those tough chewing dogs, we do have soft versions and rubber versions mm -hmm. of toys that are great for those big chewers. <laughs> yeah, I know with my dog um, that um, I love by like he loves those just like giant animals. Mm -hmm. um, but what he does is he's so funny because those toys last forever because he'll just kind of um, he'll like go up and like sniff and lick it a little bit, get a little rough, and then he'll like cuddle with it. And then it's just kind of like that back and forth that. He um, best friend. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. So um, like, there's so many, there's so many different He's like options. I am playing with There are a lot of options. The, I mean, some dogs actually don't prefer toys. So mm -hmm. after they're a certain age, my lab, even though he does love to kind of uh, gnaw on those plushies a little bit, mm -hmm. he really prefers food. Hmm. because he's a foodie, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and so is Zeus. <laughs> um, so making sure that they have a good amount of chews for their teeth is a good option too. Yeah, I found that um, with my dog Red, um, he only really likes the toy if I'm playing with him. So it's just quality time. He right. really likes that quality Dogs time. Dogs love that interaction with mm -hmm. them. They want to bond with you. So like tug. Tug is a great option where you can bond with your dog mm -hmm. and you can do it with a rope or uh, we have rubber options too that are a little bit more durable. Too. What is this? Is that just like a regular like ball there? Get or around is it the dog. Like... Yeah, I mean, so we have Jolly Balls at the store. They are made of a durable rubber where if a dog's teeth puncture into it, it's not going to deflate. Oh, can I see huh. it? Yeah. Awesome. Whoa! <laughs> what does it feel like? Is it like squishier or no? It, it's like um. You can kind you of can squish, squish it. it. Yeah. I definitely could not bite through this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Perfect. not you, but there are definitely dogs out there that can. Feel it. And sure. these are kind of fun. The jolly balls, especially oh, yeah. the soccer balls, mm -hmm. they actually have a, a scent to them too. So they kind oh. of different colors have different scents, <laughs> kind of for extra fun. Oh, that is so much fun. Awesome. Oh, I was, I was not <laughs> expecting that to happen. Like the honestly, I could it. play with dog toys all right. the time too. Like I think that they're just. They're a ton of fun. Um, and so um, remind us again, you know, like how, um, you know, people can get in touch with you if they're looking to find, um, you know, more toys or looking for recommendations. How can people get in touch with you? Well, come on into our store. We have staff that is specifically trained to uh, lead you in the right direction for mm. the different types of play fetch, tug, teething puppies, uh, dogs that destroy everything. We mm -hmm. have the staff trained <laughs> yeah. to get you in the right direction. All right. Well, I have to say thank you, Zeusy. <laughs> I don't have any food, but um, so I don't know if you can see, but you know, Zeus is literally standing on a chair, which my dog would <laughs> never have the patience to do. So thank you, Zeus. And thank you so much, Victoria, Victoria. for joining us. And we'll be um, still to come after the break. Goodbye, no mo may, and hello to new aid for our local pollinators. One expert joins us with a new initiative to help pollinators survive and thrive for the upcoming spring and summer seasons. Stay with us. While the young minds of the region push to grow, we share the responsibility to grow with them with programs inspiring creativity and innovation. Mental health professionals offering compassion and support and maintaining some of the highest test scores in the area.